This is an airport. Hopefully, you've not heard the name of the airport, and I want you to keep it that way. You can even have controls and actually use. There's a wall clock, but this is something that I did uh, before. How about we get into a life hack? Who's interested in a life hack? Okay, so for this one, I will need two volunteers with a mobile phone. You'll be safe, guys. Two volunteers, please. Please, if you can come on this stage, anything works. Absolutely not. Okay, for this one, I might even want to wear my black hat. Okay, so the way it will work is uh, I will disconnect my presentation. And uh, do we have whiteboards here? Uh, sorry, clipboards will work. Okay, so I want you to write your number on the clipboards. Your own phone number. Absolutely not. I will not read your phone numbers. I'll just keep them with me. Great. Thank you. So whose phone is charged? You have your phones here? Yes. Why don't you take your phones so that I'm not touching your phone? And let me take a pick. Or at least I can choose. Do you want me to call you or do you want to receive a call? Any preference? We can just make the random. Okay, so I'll call you and I'll use your number. Does that sound exciting? Wonderful. So if uh, you can take the center stage for the meantime, I will just get on to some hacking. This takes some time, so guys, just be patient with me.
Now, through my journey, I have discovered many superpowers. I would want to share all of this with you on how the hacker's mind is conditioned and how you can benefit and reprogram your thinking to change your life like I did to progress mine. Now, hacker's mind teaches us to be incredibly focused because for them, everything is a challenge. I still remember applying to grad school and I went up to my counselor and said, hey, what all universities can you give me? And she gave me a list of universities that was not necessarily exciting or I wanted to go in, but was based on my net profile. I was upset, but more importantly, I looked at it as a challenge. What I did was, I went to the head counselor and told her exactly this. Please don't tell me what I can get into. Tell me how I can get into where I want to go. So, as a devoted hacker, completely focused, I listened to everything that she advised me to. I wrote articles, completed multiple certificate courses, and wrote research papers. So much so that I remember going up to her one month before the deadline and saying, what next? Repeatedly. And just to give it to my Maggie, she said, Gundeep, go, write a book. Guess what? I made sure my applications did not go without me having as an author. Book, Jenny with Gmail Labs. I was 22 back then. Now, as a hacker, phrases like, it seems difficult, is music to yours. Then, whether it is getting into an Ivy League university by upgrading your profile, or being the state player, giving your best shot on the court with few minutes left and being a game changer. Or even things like losing weight, 23 kgs in five months. Seemingly difficult tasks become achievable. The point is, I knew what I wanted and did not rest until I got it. For hackers, there is no concept of failure because failure is not an option. It's only revisions for them. It's not if they get in, it's only when they get in. Hackers also love experimenting. They don't travel the regular road. They like to go off-road. They don't travel traditional set paths. I remember getting my dev internship offer from Amazon and I wanted a revision. I wanted to be a TPM intern instead. Now, Amazon did not have a TPM intern ever. My hacker mindset, belief in the thought that just because something has not been done before, that does not mean it can't be done that way. I walked up to my recruiter, series of discussions, and finally, I was the first TPM intern at Amazon. I truly lived their slogan. Work hard, have fun, make history. And for you guys, it's a great dictum to live by. Work hard, have fun, and make history. Now, hackers are also credited for being able to seamlessly bring dynamic shifts into their thinking patterns. They love to run parallel threads, multitask, easily switch contests, and find ways to be more efficient. This is me on a treadmill. Notice how I got my laptop on a treadmill and then I got an under-desk treadmill in my office below my laptops. Using Randy Porsche's terminology, these are some of my hit fake learning. I would want you to look out for those and benefit from it like a true hacker. Now, hacking is often associated with an unauthorized access to take control over systems or computer networks. Ethical hacking is about finding vulnerabilities and weaknesses in target systems for good reasons. So today, I encourage you all to think of vulnerabilities and gaps in your goals and dreams. And then think of challenges, be it health, be it time management, be it lack of motivation, and set out to hack. Hack into the source code of these challenges and write an algorithm for breaking into them. And in the process, 
have an algorithm for success, get that rush of achievement and live a healthy, happier and a more beautiful life. Make hacking a way of life. And also not just problem solve, but just go beyond and be solution finders too. We have seen some great minds founding companies like Facebook, Tesla, Twitter, and they are sometimes also referred as hackers. I want all of you to be hackers. I mean, that's a dangerous thing to say, but I qualify by saying, I want all of you to be hackers and harness that superpower in you. Because all of us have that little hacker in us, all of us have that little superpower in us. If you have a hammer, everything starts to appear like a nail. That can be hammered. So guys, nail it. Hack your mind now. Wonder why I aggravated my topic as him? Well, the word him means a song of praise. It is typically addressed to a deity. They say, what God has made of you is his gift to you. And what you make of yourself is your gift to God. What better him than making our life a beautiful gift? Hacking your mind will help you do exactly that. Because to master your mind is to master your life. Signing off, my name is Gundeep and I urge you to hack now. Little by little, every day, ethically, hack, hack, hack. Thank you all.